Hey guys, so I have a new product to review for you guys. I don't know how new it is, um, but I was sent it by a company called Buzz Agent. I've done several other videos. Um, let me pin you down a little bit. All right, <laughs> I've done several other videos um, on stuff that they've sent me. Um, so yeah, they're kind of like influencer. Just throwing that out there. Um, it's huge. It is a Dirt Devil Powervax XL upright full-size vacuum. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, I've never been sent something this huge before. So um, I will put up a picture of what it looks like because I, I really can't lift up the box right now. But um, when we go up and test it out, um, I will show you it, but here is what it looks like. And it retails for $79 at Walmart, so not too, too expensive. It's not one of the like $500 to $1,000 um, vacuums, but we'll see how well it works. Um, I used to have a shark that was my mom's that I used for a while. Um, and it worked pretty well. Um, it had the, the little, oh no, it was a Dyson, a Dyson. Um, and my mom has a Dyson and a shark. And if this works well, um, for $79, that is a steal for a really good vacuum cleaner. So anyways, we are going to go upstairs in my daughter's room. Um, she is actually the only one with a carpet in her room. Um, there is a carpet in this room, but I'm not going to do this room today. Um, but she is like hardwood floor and carpet. And um, being an eight-year-old who's crafty, her room, oh my gosh, her room gets so messy in just days. I tell her to clean it up, but I do like a big, big deep cleaning um, like once or twice a month. Um and that's getting like in the nooks and the crannies and stuff. But I do have her clean her room, like pick up her stuff every day, every night before she goes to bed. Um, but with the cat being up there with the his foods up there to keep him like the dogs away from it, um, that can get messy. Her crafting, there's glitter and slime and just stuff. Her craft stuff gets everywhere and there's like little pieces of stuff. Um, so I have to clean that up, you know, quite frequently. Um, <laughs> and then there's a litter box up there um, for the cat uh, right next to his cat house. And that has to get cleaned up um, like at least twice a month, um, if not more, um, when he kicks his litter around. Um, it's not as bad anymore now that he has a dome one, but yeah, he used to have a flat one that used to just get so messy. But anyways, um, we're going to clean all that up and see how well the vacuum does. Things get stuck in the rug, this and that. So, um, yeah, let's go upstairs and clean. All right. So this is the side that we're going to start with. Here is the vacuum. I'm sorry. I'm, I tried to pan you down a little bit as you can see there's stuff in the corners and against the wall and stuff like that sorry that you're crooked but my thing doesn't want to work right all right so here's the vacuum still in the box let's get this open I got it open. It comes with the instructions and this little thingy. Here's an attachment piece, another attachment piece. I'm gonna get this out, and I'm gonna have to run all this other extra stuff down to the garbage. Oh, here is the hose piece. I apologize for my dog's barking. Here's some more of the hose attachments. Let's 
get all this stuff out of the plastic too so that um, I can just run so I can just run everything down to the trash at once. So that's that piece. I have no idea where anything goes yet. So, oh, here's the vacuum. All right, another hose piece. Whoops. All right, struggling, trying to get this out. Okay. Ugh. More stuff for me to pick you up because the styrofoam just snapped. All right. Woo. Here's the vacuum part. Now, let's see if we can get this all put together. I'm going to run this down to the garbage and I'm going to be right back. All right, we're going to read these instructions together. It says to insert the cleaning wand into the top of your vacuum and secure the hose here and here. So that is this piece right here. And I'm assuming that this piece goes in here, right? Maybe not. Here. Okay. This piece. What is this piece? It's showing. Oh, wait. Ha! This piece needs to go in first. Let's do that one. Is that this way or this way? Yeah, this way. All right, there we go. The wand. Oh, right, okay. Wrap the cord around the hooks. This is so confusing. All right, so this piece goes in the top. And this piece, I'm assuming, goes down here. Oh, got it. Hey. All right, I figured it out. Okay, this is the wand. And then the wand goes back in here. Then you can just put the attachments that you need onto it. And then oh, take the attachments off when you're done. I'm going to be using this attachment first and this piece actually whoop, comes up so it has a little brush on it which i'm going to use that part um so yeah i'm going to plug this in over here and then we'll get started on all the like crevices Now, there's a switch down here that I switch from carpet to hard floor, because this is a hard floor. And now, yes, that's not okay. Take my shoes off for a second. I'm gonna, there we go. Now, ooh, that does not, not that, okay. Now I'm gonna get the rest of the floor with just the vacuum.
All right, now I've moved the TV and the mattress back where they go and it's time to start on the other side. Of the All right, I've now moved the toy bins that are over here out of the way and now we can get in the corners over here. I'm actually going to move this for a minute so we can get behind it. It's just pieces to the, um, the air conditioner that fell off. So yeah, let's get started in this corner right here. And now it's time to vacuum up the floor. So now everything on this side of the room is clean, everything's back in its place, and we're gonna start in the next side. All right, so next up is the cat corner. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way, and I'm gonna clean the floor up, and then I'm going to clean this off because this has litter and glitter all over it, so. Let's get these things moved and then we'll clean this little corner. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of dirt on the floor. We're gonna use the attachment for the whole thing since the vacuum won't, we'll have a hard time um, getting there with it being so big. So let's start. Okay, so I want to get you in here and show you how well it did. Look at that. It got all the nooks and crannies under the carpets, in the corners, perfect. Okay, so now we are going to clean the cat tree. And before I do the steps, I just wanna show you how much litter and, or, yeah, litter and glitter is in there. And then I'll show you what it looks like. There was a whole bunch up in this crevice. There's some on the inside. So I'll show you how clean it gets when it's all done. All right, so here's this part and this part, the inside. I mean, there's a tiny bit that like was very hard to reach, but for the most part, it's clean in there. The bottom 
is all clean. And the steps, look at that. Got it right out of those crevices. There we go. Now this corner is all done. Look how clean and nice that looks. And now it's time to start on this corner. Okay, so I have, let me try to, I have the toy box and the, the shelves moved out of the way. I'm gonna get in the corners of the rug and then I'm going to vacuum um, with the big vacuum. Okay, so let's get in the corners. All right, so now I'm gonna get in with the vacuum for the rest. All right, and that, and that is paint, by the way, that's not coming out, but that is it, and it works really, really well. That is a piece of cat food that it wouldn't pick up, but yeah. All right, so now the shelves and the toy box are put back, and by the way, this is what I'm holding my phone on, that's why that's there, and these are both laptop stands and then her guitar, which I'm gonna stick that right here. And then her hula hoop just goes back behind there. And then that's that. Now, gonna move this out of the way. We are gonna get this corner right here. All right, starting with the hose attachment, we're gonna get in here and in here. And now we're gonna get the rest of the carpet with the big part of the back. And look at that difference. Okay, now the last section, we are going to get under the carpet with the attachment hose, and we are going to get this little corner. All right, so here is 
ignore all the drawings on the walls. My kid, that's what happens when you have kids. But here, and ignore the floor. It's been painted on, it's got slime on it, it's got stains. So all those spots that you see are stains. They're not like dirt, dirt. Look at that carpet. And this carpet had a whole bunch of stains in it, but I uh, used some like stain remover, got those out. And here's this section. Beautiful. All right, so that is how the vacuum performed. I am in love with it. Um, the attachment piece uh, with the brush thing on it, perfect. I love that it gets into like tight corners. I love that it gets just into every crevice. And it's really nice, um, that brush piece for when I was uh, vacuuming off the um, cat house because that is like a fabric. It's like a, a fuzzy kind of feel, like a blanket almost. And it got like in those fibers and everything and it was great. I love it. Um, I used to struggle with my last vacuum and this one, perfect. I love it. It gets the hardwood floors really well. It gets in every crevice of the carpet. It got everything up and I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10 review. Um, I haven't tried the other attachment piece. That's this one. This is for like curtains and upholsteries and stuff like, um, on the wall. And that's really neat. I've never had a vacuum with that attachment piece, especially for $79. Um, this is a great deal on a vacuum. If you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, like they have like $500, a $1,000 vacuums. Like that's ridiculous. I don't need to be spending that much. For a $79 vacuum, under $100, perfect. I love it, it works great. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. And I will put the Walmart link in the description box down below. I'm also gonna check out Amazon and see if I can find a good deal on there too. And then I will provide that link in the description box down below too. If you have Amazon Prime, I will try to get like free Prime shipping, that kind of deal. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye!